After modifying this Pentax, I've now decided that my next victim is going to be this guy. What I want to do is replace the leatherette completely, as I did with this one. I'm not sure what I'm going to use on this yet, but it's going to be something different than leatherette. Even though I like leatherette because it's so easy to work with, um, I like the feel of full grain leather. It just feels, I don't know, more luxurious, right? <laughs> I'm also going to repaint any of this chrome. The kind of thought process for this video series is to go through modifying this step by step and explain the process and to show how uh, it's not perfect, right? Um, this, at, you know, at first glance, it may look to be okay, but there are issues with it that I have and that I would like to avoid for the next one. And that's what we're gonna try and do here. And it's been a process of modifying these Spotmatics. It kind of started with this guy, and you can see that, you know, it. this one has a, a certain aesthetic to it, right? And it's supposed to look beat up. That aesthetic, I tried to go for kind of the opposite with this guy, which is a nice, clean, you know, simple, but yet a little more color and a little more interest than just the regular black Spotmatic, which is what this started as. So what I'm going to attempt to do throughout the series is just show it in as much detail or as little detail as possible so you can kind of get an idea of how to do this if it's something you want to do yourself. Step one is select your camera, um, Spotmatic. <laughs> this is a Honeywell. This was just an affordable option. Came with a couple lenses. You know, not these are these are relatively inexpensive. It's a good camera to start doing this kind of stuff with, in my opinion, because they are cheap and plentiful, and you can really uh, learn a lot from these. 